Hello everyone, Oliver Draper here, Training and Show Manager for Hike Vision North UK. What to make sure today is our second generation of Colorview IP cameras. So the Colorview camera, uh, the ones we've got here, we've got it in a turret and we've got it in a bullet function. So the uh, turret one we've got here is a DS-2CD2347G2-LU. And then we've got the bullet one here, which is the DS-2CD2T47G2-L. So that G2 is what represents the fact it's our second generation of Colorview. Now the Colorview technology in here uh, is the same as what we've got in our first generation of Colorview. So we're using that f1.0 super aperture to capture four times more light than what a conventional camera would do. We've still got the advanced sensor in there which is able to process the images thus giving us the brighter images. And then in a zero light environment the Colorview camera has a soft warm light out as well. So it doesn't have an IR illuminator, it doesn't do infrared light. So in a zero light environment, it actually emits a physical white light out. Now the white light out in these cameras doesn't act like a flood light, like those security lights you put in your back garden. Uh, it's just a soft warm light. So um, it just portrays enough light into the scene, allowing the lens and sensor to see what's in the scene, not necessarily what the human eye would actually see. So the color view technology is the same as the previous first generation. So what makes the second generation of color view uh, different? Well, for starters, we've now uh, adopted our AccuSense technology into these cameras. And AccuSense technology is that deep learning technology that helps us with the false alarm reduction. So we can do classification target, whether that be human and or vehicle. So we can reduce down the false alarms that can be caused by headlights hitting the driveway from cars, or sometimes uh, cats walking across your driveway, uh, maybe even insects and things like other little things that would sometimes cause these false alarms in the past. We can reduce these out now with our AccuSense technology, therefore only trigger for human and or vehicle. We can even do it as well, not just on line crossings and intrusion detections. We also have our motion tracking uh, 2.0 in there as well. So for any motion detection as well, uh, again, we can do the same thing for human and or vehicle. Now, in addition to these cameras that I've got here, uh, on our DS2CD2047G2LU, uh, uh, that has an upgraded resolution, still 4 megapixel, but we've gone from the uh, 2560 by 1440 to now a 2688 by 1520 resolution. Um, now, again, the VCAs we get on these, we still can do the line crossing, intrusion detection, region entering, region exiting, we still get those, but we now have a fifth VCA which we can do, which is our face capture technology. So we can even use these color view cameras in our facial recognition applications as well. So what we'll do, we will uh, pop over the boxes of one of these and take a look and see what we get inside. So let's pop open the box to the uh, bullet camera and see exactly what we get inside. So we have our drill template which you can use which allows you to uh, assist you with where to line up the screws including the hole at the back to feed your cables through. We've got your waterproof attachments you can put over your um, uh, Cat5 cable or Cat6 cable to prevent uh, any water and gas running down the cable. Pack of screws. Your security screwdriver to actually uh, unbolt the actual security screws on there. CD even array of software quick start guide and then finally the actual camera itself. So this is the second generation of color view camera. As we can see from the front it has two soft warm lights out, doesn't have an IR illuminator, f1.0 super aperture and as I mentioned has the advanced sensor inside as well. On the back of the camera you've got your RJ45 port which is simply a PoE for power over Ethernet. Uh, alternatively you can put in there a 12 volt power supply uh, should you want to put an independent power supply on there as well. So what we'll do, we will get this hooked up to a monitor and see what sort of view we get from a colour view camera. Okay, so I've got this camera uh, now set up so I've currently got it mounted uh, as you can probably see on the screen there, just next to where the camera is that you're currently watching me on at the moment, I've got it mounted up just to the side of that now, just so we can get a sort of an idea of what the camera 
uh, can actually do. Now, so obviously as I mentioned, it's a colour view camera, so it can give us that colourful image in a very dimly lit environment. You'll also, if you can try and make out on the camera, we've got a little red boundary box around my actual face on here at the minute. So this is currently doing face capture as well. Now at the minute, we're not really portraying what colour view can actually do, because in the minute, um, in an indoor art artificial lit uh, environment. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off all the lights in here um, and then see what sort of image that you're seeing on the main camera that I'm filming on right now in comparison to what the colour view camera will see on here. Okay, so we've now got lights out. I'm just going to go back to the area where I was sat a moment ago. So on the camera we're currently filming on at the minute, you're probably struggling to make me out at the moment. You might get sort of a, a silhouette appearing there. Uh, however, on the colour view camera you see on the image here, you're able to get a full colourful image, even in this dimly lit environment. You can still make out the colours on this box here, you can still make out me in the scene. Again, our conventional camera, which we're, we're filming on at the minute, is struggling to make out um, bits of detail. So again, it just shows how much light it's actually been able to amplify and grab from the scene itself. Uh, there is no actual light actually being portrayed from the camera, so it's not even activated its soft warm lights out. It's been able to do what it's doing, just with the light that's already already here in the scene. If the light levels dropped even further, then the white light would actually engage on the camera. But in this instance at the moment, it's not actually required. So let's get the lights back on. So there we have it. Uh, a great bit of technology. Getting our 24 seven colorful image in a dim lit environment, false alarm reduction. So we can reduce down the false alarms caused by the relevant objects that we don't want to get notif notified for, such as, like I said earlier, headlights hitting your driveway, leaves blowing across your line crossings. Uh, we can reduce all those false alarms with the AccuSense technology that are built into these cameras. And in addition, we can now do face capture. So you can even use colour view cameras for your facial recognition solutions. If you don't want to need any more information about the device, uh, please look at the link below to go out to our online data sheet. We can give you all the information about our second generation Colorview products. Uh, again, as always, speak to your distributor. They'll be able to provide some further information uh, as well as the uh, pricing for these devices as well. Thank you.